Hey, what's up guys, it's Skizzle here, and today I am coming in with a brand new series of 10 things smart zombie players do. And ladies and gentlemen, like always, if we're having a brand new series, we're most likely gonna have a brand new character, and for this one, we have the man. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, open your arms big and wide. We have a man by the name of Toby. Now, one thing and one thing only that Toby knows is he is smart. He is very Hot smart. Damn. Now that you know a little bit about Toby, let's get right in on this. Now, of course, these are only going to be 10 things smart zombie players do. And I know there are going to be bazillion other things. And I do want to differentiate this list with pro players. Of course, if you do any smart things in zombies, you're automatically going to be classed as a professional zombie player. But hey, these are only going to be smart player things. And like I said, there are going to be bazillion other things that I wouldn't be able to have on this list. So if you have anything that you know of... Let me know in the comments below. And hey, this is just me saying they're most likely gonna be a part two, part three, and part hundred. Subscribe with notifications so when that episode goes up, you want to be notified because hey, you're most likely gonna be featured. But coming in at our number 10 spot, we're talking about throwing grenades when you have no ammo. Now, metaphorically speaking, a lot of people jump around and they don't do any of that. In other words, you want to make sure you throw grenades because if you throw grenades, there's going to be a slight possibility that you may get a draw. For example, insta-kill. Hey, that can really help you out. You can buy a gun off of the wall to actually kill all the zombies or you may just go ahead and knife all the zombies or you may just get kaboom, which will definitely end the round, will buy you some time so you can hit the box or get some ammo or pack punch your gun so throwing grenades can also give you a max ammo of course it's gonna be a rare possibility but still it's a chance and toby wanna be smart and he is smart like i said ladies and gentlemen he don't wanna form any no. memes and toby will make sure to throw those grenades to actually raise that slide possibility by one at our number nine spot now this one is surely gonna be that sort of thing that you like okay skizzle i know but hey to Toby, this is very important, you hear me? We're talking about training at a good convenient area. Now, of course, Toby has multiple ways. He knows like he can train there, he can train there, he can train left, he can train right, he can train on top of your head, he can train anywhere you can possibly imagine. But what I'm saying here is that if Toby is playing the giant, he will make sure he train at an area he knows that he can just train and get you round 100. Now, of course, Toby can train on top of your forehead, but that's not gonna be a smart thing considering the fact your head or your forehead is not bigger as Mr. T Lexify head. Now, of course, if we're talking about Mr. T Lexify head, Toby will most likely gonna train on top of his head, but... He is not sure about that one. So what he will do is he will play the giant and he will train in the middle where he is more comfortable. He knows that can 44 wall buy it's just around the corner. So whenever he loses his precious ammo, he will go there and buy the ammo. And that's how Toby wins. But hey, if we're talking about Bob, Bob likes to impress people and I don't know why he does that. But hey, we're talking about Mob of the Dead Dogs area. You remember where the plane part is? That's exactly where Bob will go and he will be like, like, dank meme, I gotta show my peeps that I can train here, and guess what? Two seconds later, the man is already down on the floor, and he's like, revive me, I got a ray gun, and the funny part is, he doesn't have a ray gun. He knows his clickbait very well. And of course, that creates a lot of problems, a lot of memes, a lot of hostility, because that becomes a problem to Toby, because Toby is smart, and he does his calculation. He's like, okay, can I revive him? Uh, let's not revive him right now, and that's when, you know, Toby is very smart because he already know that what's the point if I revive Bob he will go down the next second coming in at our number eight spot we're talking about not rebuilding barriers on high rounds because what's the point because number one if Toby is playing with other smart players of course uh, Toby don't want his respect level to decline that's very important to Toby respect is everything to Toby he want to be smart but at the same time he want to make sure he's respected and everything like that he don't want to ever lose that and guess what if you rebuild barriers and there are other smart players in his game they will be like yo toby that's a no no that's not a good meme and toby automatically gonna see a decline in his respect level so very important he will never do that secondly he will lose his credibility which is a no no 
Third of all, he will make sure he doesn't rebuild barriers because it will slow down the process and for him it's beneficial that he only stick with his wall guns or whatever mystery blocks gun to make points because that's just a smart way to make points and not by rebuilding barriers on a high round. But of course if you're starting a new game, of course for the first few rounds it's always smart to rebuild barriers and Toby always likes to maximize his points because Toby knows that's just a good meme. But coming in at our number 7 spot now smart players always go with their gut they always go with their intuition because what if they hit the box and they get something that Bob would love. They never want to get something that Bob will love because Bob loves weapons like SMR, machine, he thinks it's a good meme. But hey, Toby on the other hand, he will resist. He will rather go for a wall gun that he knows of something like, let's just say VMP in the giant or the reason it would be the Thompson, you know what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen. But he would rather go with something that he knows of that would have a decent amount of ammo that can actually get him to make some decent amount of points so he can actually go ahead buy doors that he needs to buy perks and then go ahead make some more points so he can actually hit the box that's just a smartest thing in the world that Bob can never think of but hey at our number six spot now this will blow your mind now Toby likes to always use the gun till the last bullet before pack a punching for example mark 2 now the thing about mark 2 is that even if you pack a punch whenever you got full ammo you're only gonna get a red glow which is of course very beautiful and of course if Toby using a pack punch gun around Bob, Bob will be screaming dank meme dank meme. Of course his respect level will go all time high in terms of like how Bob looks at him. I don't know if you get what I'm saying here but I hope you do but what I'm saying here is that Toby will make sure he used the, the, the full amount of ammo that Reagan Mark II has. Let's also include the Thunder Gun in the mix. Let's include all the guns in the mix. For example, Reagan Mark II, if you pack once, you're only gonna get a uh, bigger mag, which is awesome, but at the same time, you don't get a whole lot. And if we're talking about the Thunder Gun, of course, you will get four ammo or four Thunder Gun ammo in the mag, which is, of course, awesome. You want that. You want to bang that shit at the same time. You want to make sure you don't bang it too early because the earlier you bang it, it's not gonna be profitable but once you see yourself getting nowhere once you see yourself no way of getting another max ammo that's when you want to pack punch and Toby knows his game Toby got game he's very smart and uh, hey Toby knows his memes but coming in at our number five spot we're talking about smart players know how to escape area now Toby always leave areas with respect he always leave area with style uh, he knows that if he escape the area Bob will be like yo that shit's crazy uh, I don't know how people do that nowadays in 2017 but Toby like let me show you how I do so as soon as a new game start Toby will be like okay now we can go ahead and knife zombies get some points um, shoot that zombie pew pew he will make a lot of points but the second he hear that tune or however that if you call that shit the second he hears something he'll be like time to go Bob on me but Bob will be like no I want to make more points and that's when Tony will be triggered he'll like, okay no let's not be triggered because that's not smart Toby will control himself because hey there was one man who said uh, whoever can control his anger in times of uh, when people are trying to create the hostility you're gonna be sort of like praise and Bob in terms of Bob Bob will be like okay that man is a legend and that's exactly what Toby wants I don't even know what I said there but you know what I'm saying now uh, Toby will be like, yo Bob, on me. But like I said, Bob never listens. So guess what Toby will do? He'll be like, yo, I will give you the ray gun if you come with me. And that's when Bob is sold. And you guys already know, the next thing you know, Bob and Toby have escaped area. That's a, that's a big one. But coming in at our number four spot. Now this one is a super smart thing, all right? Check this out. Now smart players like to save claymores. Now of course, I'm only talking about Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 here. I hope we get claymores in the next track title. Of course, everyone is calling it Black Ops 4. So am I. I made a video a couple of days ago I made a couple of videos about Black Ops 4 because we have a couple of hints so check them out if you need to but besides that I want to make sure you get what I'm saying here because Bob 
fails to see this. But Toby on the other side, whenever he got decent amount of points, what he will do, he will go ahead and he will be like, okay, let's just grab a couple of claymores for a thousand bucks. As soon as he get that, he like, okay, so I don't really feel like using them. Let me go ahead and save them in the corner for the time of need. Because guess what? If you don't have ammo on, let's just say, round 30, you can throw grenades. Like I said, that was my number 10 spot to actually get max ammo. Maybe you'll get a drop. Maybe you will not. But at the same time, that way you can make some points. You can actually create another window of opportunity. And claymores are no different. If you place claymores down, you create another window of opportunity. And that's exactly what Toby gets it. Toby is very smart. But at our number three spot, now we have another smart thing that only Toby does. Now, of course, people or smart players will never get who's who on Dyrus, but there is a rare species that will get who's who. Now, we're talking about Toby. Now, the thing is, if Toby ever gets who's who, and if he ever goes down while having who's who, he will try to revive himself, but at the same time, he won't panic. He will be like, if I can make it, it doesn't matter, because as soon as I bleed out, I will be given second chance, and that's exactly what Toby gets. And as soon as he's given a second chance, he will go around, he will go bozo. I mean, he's not never gonna go bozo. Only Bob gets Bozo, but the thing is, Toby will go around, he will buy ammo, he will get good guns, he will hit the box, he will like, okay, Juggernaut, you're mine, um, um, Huzu, you come up in here, um, um, Speed Cola, I got you too, double tap, of course, Toby knows what he's doing, and that's very important, and hey, Bob, of course, he's already mind blown, Carlos look at him, and he says like, what, you crazy, uh, Tony, who's a serious guy, he's like, damn, Toby, you got mad game, fam. You can now join my squad as well. At our number two spot, we're talking about smart players will make sure to not get the free blunder get before getting it from the box. It depends if they want to have two blunder gets at the same time or not. And the thing with Toby is that Toby sometimes he likes to change his strategy. He's a very strategic person. Now Toby understand that if he get a free blunder get from the warden office from the desk, he understand that he may never see the blunder get from the box upon hitting it. It doesn't matter if he hits a million times, bazillion times. As soon as he gets the free blunder get, he will not be given the second blunder get so what he does he's like okay i'm not sure if i want a free blunder get or not let me actually go around let me get the skull but he will make sure he never gets the fifth skull that is near the warden office aka speed cola aka the same desk where he can get the free blunder get he will make sure he never gets that last skull because hey what if he wants that free blunder get he always likes to keep his options available but hey edward number one spot i like to hit you up with a smart thing that players do in Call of Duty Zombies. I feel like a lot of people, including myself, are neglecting the game because I don't know why we do that, but at the same time, I feel like this deserves a number one spot, although this is not a top 10 video. This is just a 10 things video. So at our number one spot, ladies and gentlemen, Toby likes to only buy the armor when he's down to the last shield. He never rebuys the armor as soon as he loses the first shield because he understands the fact that if he buys the armor over and over again upon just losing one shield he's making the process very lame and he doesn't want to get to the point where the armor costs 10,000 points of course later on in the rounds you will get there but at the same time he want to slow down the process and it's a very smart maneuver because Toby understand that if he doesn't buy the shield as soon as he loses the first one, he's making progress and a lot of people will be screaming dank meme, including Bob, including uh, Tony, including Carlos. You get the idea. It's just a good meme. And I want to hear from you. If you have anything that smart players do, let me know in the comments below. Check out some other videos on the screen. Subscribe if you're new. Smash a big fat like for episode number two. And I'll see you very freaking soon.